like she anyway, yeah, I
beautiful sunshine you gave us today. Thank you for these wonderful boys and girls and for these teachers who are here. Thank you that they're worshiping and praising you and dancing and singing and shouting. Thank you, Jesus, for sending, for, thank you, God, for sending your son, Jesus, for us. Help us to listen to what you want to teach us today. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 At the very end, we'll do that one last, okay? All right, so what are these books I'm holding in my hand called? Bible. Bible. Do they look the same? No. no. But they, they're so, I have one. I have a Bible like that with the person on it. You do? You have one like this at home? Me too. Do you? Lots of you do. Do both of these Bibles have God's words in them? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Are God's words in our Bibles all true or just some of them? All true. All true. I'm Miss Holly, your turn. Okay, um, let's see. What is the first book of the Old Testament? The very first book in the Bible called? Genesis. Very good, good. Genesis. Genesis. Good job. All right, give them another, Miss Holly. Okay. Um, this is kind of hard. What is the first book of the New Testament called? Matthew. Good yeah. job. Matthew and Mark. Good job. Nice. All right, so Jesus came to earth as what? Did he come as baby. a baby? As a baby. He grew up. He taught others about the Old Testament about how much God loves them and rules for living. Then where did the mean men send him? The cross. The cross. Did he stay there? No. Or the naked? The, the tomb. The tomb. How long did he stay there? Three days. Three days. Then what happened? He broke his head. Where is he now? In heaven. Do you guys know how smart you are? <laughs> you are so incredibly smart. You're such good listeners. All right. How many books? How many little books are in my Bible? Sixty-six. They sure are. All right, are you guys ready to rock it, saying them this morning? We're gonna tap them out on the floor first. You ready? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Acts and Romans, First Corinthians, Second Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. All right. Uh, let's clap them in our hands. You ready? Matthew, Mark. short Bible lesson this morning. Um, Mr. Shelley, yes, sir? How can that, like, how did that speaker make that sound so, like, on like, Wednesday? Not good? It was just not happy on Wednesday. <laughs> it was grumpy, and it just did not. And it went, <laughs> are we all going to cover our ears? Because you know what, Calvin? When Miss Holly is here, the sound works so much better. It likes her a whole lot more than it likes me. The microphones don't love me. Okay, uh, wait, my turn, my turn, my turn. What is all this out here? What do we call this? Gold jewelry. Gold jewelry. That's right. What is this? A donkey. A cow. A cow. It is. It is a cow. Does anybody know what jewelry and cows have to do with each other? Me. Moo. That's right. So we're going to have to put our listening ears and find out, aren't we? Okay, so two weeks ago, we talked about Mexico. We talked about that Moses and the people had been traveling for a long time, remember, and that they had to carry everything that they owned with them. And they were grumbling about what? Food. food. And what did God give them? Food. What kind of food? What kind of meat did he give them? Does anybody remember? Quail. Quail. And what kind of bread did he give them? Ma. 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 Manna. Manna. You were close. Bread to eat. And then when they were thirsty, he told Moses to take his staff and he hit a big rock. rock. And what happened? Water. Oh, my goodness. I'm so proud of you. Nice. Then last week, Moses and the people are still traveling and they get to a great big mountain. And Moses goes up to the top, and God gave Moses ten what? Rules. You're right. What is it? Rules. Rules called what? Commandments. Commandments. That's right. Rules like don't lie, don't steal, don't ha want what other people have. When you get married, only love your husband or your wife. Um, do not <laughs> Do not worship other gods. So we're going to talk about what happened while Moses was up on the mountain getting those commandments. Because remember, only Moses was on top of the mountain. Everybody else was down at the bottom. So let's see what happened. So Moses is up there on the mountain. He's talking to God. He's probably worshiping God and learning so many things. And he was there for a long time. And the rest of the people, the Israelites, were down. I don't know how long, baby. 
um, were down at the bottom of the mountain and they got tired of waiting. And what happens? And they made um, another, they made a car that, um, that way that they can touch and see. Exactly, that's exactly what happened. That's what we're first talking about. Very good, you're very smart. That's exactly what happened. What happens when we get tired and hot and bored? We what get sweaty, you go bump. You get grumbly too. You get sweaty, but you get grumbly. And you start to complain about everything. And that's what the people started to do. Moses had a brother, and his name was Aaron. And so the people started grumbling to Aaron, and they said exactly what Andy just said. They said, we need a God that we can see and that we can touch. And so they took all the gold jewelry that God had given them, and they made a golden calf. Now, does anybody know why that God had given them all this jewelry from the Egyptians to take with them? Yes. What? To make a golden calf. No, God did not want them to make a golden calf. He gave them this jewelry. Why, Miss Holly, did they give them this jewelry to take with them? They didn't have money, but they had jewelry. And jewelry was special and valuable, so they could use it to buy things that they needed to trade with people. So I might move into Miss Holly's country, and I might say, Miss Holly, that piece of land over there from the river to the cave, I'd really like to buy that from you. How much jewelry would you like for that? Mm, it's a nice piece of land. That's going to cost about five necklaces. All right, five necklaces it is. So I might pay Miss Holly five necklaces, and I might move on to my land, and then I realize, uh-oh, all the wells are over there because Miss Holly only sold me the land up to the river. So I might go back to Miss Holly. I need either some river rights or I need two wells. How much for some water? Uh, okay, I'll just take one bracelet for that because you okay. paid for the land already. All right, so this is what the jewelry was for, is when they got to a new place and they needed to buy things that they could use the jewelry. But you guys are right. Instead, they took all this jewelry and they put it in a big fire and they melted it and they poured it into what's called a mold and they made this golden calf so that they could see it and touch it. Now, if I prayed to this calf and said, calf, I really, um, I'm a friend that doesn't know Jesus, calf, and I'd really like you to give me the words to talk to this friend so I can help him know Jesus. Is this cow gonna do anything for me? No. No. Either if I, I'm very sick and I'm in the hospital and I'm praying, Jesus, if it's in your will, Please give the doctors the knowledge they need to heal me. Is this calf going to help me any? Yeah. Nope. Calf is useless. But they are very silly. That's right. All right, so listen. So Moses comes down the mountain, and he sees the calf, and he knows God is going to be angry. And Moses is mad. And do you know what Moses did? He didn't just take that calf. He threw the he destroyed it, didn't he? He destroyed the calf so that it was no longer there. And then you know what Moses had to do? He had to go back up the mountain, and he had to talk to God, and he bowed down before God. And he said, God, please forgive these people. They did not make good choices while I was up here. Please forgive them. And God said, they worshipped other gods other than me. I told you not to do that. I've got to punish them for their sins. God gave Moses more positive instructions so that they would know how to live their best life, so that they would know how to obey the words that God gave us. And God said, I am the Lord. The Lord cares about his people. He is good to them, but he will punish them when they do wrong. Ms. Holly, did you ever have to punish your boys when they were growing up? Oh, yes. I carried a wooden spoon in my car. Sometimes. <laughs> I punished them a lot. <laughs> sometimes we make bad choices. And as parents, we have to punish you. Does anybody ever get into trouble, maybe at school? Yeah. Maybe have to have a timeout? Oh, hang on. Or, or their, their uh, red light, green light goes to yellow maybe instead? It's adults' jobs to punish you when you've done the wrong thing so that you learn how to do the right thing. Or jump out of cars. Well, that would be very, very dangerous and not a great idea at all. God when you're car is driving, you like, don't... Uh, like open the door. No, and, ever. And, and jump out. Maybe no. when the car is coming and you sometimes jump out of it, you might die. Exactly. Okay. Let's, 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 go, let's go back. Let's go back to Moses. Okay. And about God. So God does the same thing. God has to punish us sometimes when we've done the wrong thing. And the Israelites got punished for making bad decisions too. But you know what? Moses was very wise, and he had been listening to God, and he said, "God, please continue to lead us." 
please go with us. Please forgive us and accept us as our people. And we talked about when we started, who did God send to earth to forgive us of our sins? Jesus. Jesus. When, hang on, baby, just a minute. Because when Jesus died on that cross, then we became forgiven of our sins, right? What do we have to do first to be forgiven of our sins? We have to accept that who is our Lord and our Savior? God. God. And then when we do wrong, what do we have to say to God? What should we do? We have to pray. We have to pray and say what? I love you. And I'm so, sorry. so sorry. Yes, honey. Yes, um, last night, my mom got me um, baseball cleats. Cool. That's really cool. So we have to remember to say I'm sorry when right? we've done something wrong. Do you know what awesome thing you guys have been doing since you came in? You have been worshiping God. Yes. Above our playhouse, it says, sing to the Lord. Do you know that the Bible, boys, boys, the Bible tells us to sing and dance and shout and to use our whole bodies to thank God for making us. So let's do that. You want to sing another song? Yeah. 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 Somebody requested this morning that we do the Superman song. You guys want to do Superman? No, yeah. Spider-Man. Think Spider-Man? Okay, yes. how's the color now? Spider-Man's like this, right? Spider-Man? And then... Picture Batman came over your eyes? And Superman. All right, good job. Okay. Miss Holly and I, we have boys that are grown up and we forget Spider Man every week. Like that? Okay. It's a good thing you guys are here to help us. Yay!